You're only as good as your last game. And the next one uh, is going to be right in front of us here in just a couple days. And these guys, uh, you know, know that uh, we got to continue to take the steps. And, um, you know, as good as last week was, uh, it just is, is something that we can going to continue to use to learn from, build on. And, uh, you know, uh, it does give you some some level of uh, confidence, momentum. Alabama head coach Kalen DeBoer on Hey Coach this week speaking about the level of confidence that last Saturday's 42-13 victory over LSU has given his bunch. Since the Tides loss up on Rocky Top against Tennessee, Alabama has outscored its opponents 76-13. Bama now sits at 7-2 on the season and has jumped all the way up to number 9 in the latest AP Top 25 poll. Now after dropping two of the first three this season to Vanderbilt and Tennessee, Many Alabama fans long for the dominant days of Nick Saban, but after a rocky midpoint of the season, head coach Kalen DeBoer has stepped up and steadied the ship, having Alabama poised for yet another postseason run. And that's thanks in large part to the play of quarterback Jalen Milrow, who knows the best has yet to come. The one thing that we look at is that no one's going to feel bad for us. we got to keep on grinding. we got to keep on um, attacking our goals. At the very beginning of the season, we set short-term goals and long-term goals that we want to accomplish as a football team, right? So we got past the short-term goals. It's getting closer to the long-term goal that we set in the offseason, and all of them are within reach. Let's head to the Plains now where the Auburn Tigers are rearing and ready to go following their second bye week of the season. The last time we saw the Tigers in action, it was inside Jordan Hare Stadium as they fell 17-7 to Diego Pavia in the Vanderbilt Commodores. But with three games to play in their season, well, the Tigers are rested and ready to put their best foot forward. I feel like a good period of time for us to get our legs back under us, and uh, you know I feel I feel great right now. I'm pretty sure the team feels great. Um, you know, we had a couple players nicked up. I feel like they're you know everybody's back healthy now, and well, we can be at our best these last three these last three weeks. Just to come practice every day, you know, no matter how you feeling and you know, what you got going on, just being able to separate that when you come to practice to to give each other 110 percent, you know, just being selfless. UAB was on the field at Protective Stadium last Saturday. They started hot against UConn, but they couldn't finish off the visiting Huskies. This Saturday, Trent Dilfer's Blazers are set to hit the road to take on Memphis at the Liberty Bowl. And with kickoff set for 7 p.m., Dilfer expects this rivalry game to be played in a terrific atmosphere. It'll be a great challenge. Got to go to their place. Rivalry game, you know, night game, which I think is awesome. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, being able to play those night games and on ESPN2 should be an incredible environment, but uh, they, uh, they're very talented. Some big high school football news where it's been a tough decade for the Tuscaloosa County Wildcats where over that span, the Cats, well, they've only had one winning season and now they'll be looking for yet another head coach. As news came out Tuesday, or excuse me, Thursday morning, the county head coach, Miles Holcomb, has resigned after just one year on the job. According to a news release from the school, Holcomb announced his resignation to the team this morning at just past 8 a.m. The 37-year-old Holcomb went 1-9 in his sole season as the head coach of Tuscaloosa County. He told reporters that he will be returning to Northeast Alabama to be closer to his family in his hometown. That's a look at sports, everybody. Don't go anywhere. we got more news right after the break.